welcome back to the new video of interview series today we are going to discuss about the interview question of the company deloitte deloitte is a big four company that means it is a part of big four consulting companies and uh, the interview was uh, having a little difficult question all the questions are nearly on the topic called awc let's break down the interview so let's move to the interview question directly guys now the first question is uh, obviously what is lightning web component so basically lightning web component it is a, a framework which is based on the modern javascript it is actually introduced by the salesforce to build a lightning interface or lightning experience uh, it is uh, e es6 plus uh, technology and uh, it is a web component based uh, based framework i hope this uh, lightning web component definition everyone is able to say now uh, what are the benefits of using lwc over the aura so there are few benefits uh, i need to just uh, point it out first is lwc build on the modern web standards like shallow domes and uh, web components etc etc if we talk about the performance also lwc is slightly better performance uh, compared to uh, aura means we can say that lwc has a uh, lightweight uh, components compared to the aura components and they are better in performance if we talk about the understanding uh, lwc is easier to learn than the aura and this is my personal opinion uh, it is uh, actually have a better support uh, uh, of unit testing and debugging right if we talk about the testing in aura it is little complicated uh, lwc is future proof technology it is a open source and aura is not open source we all know that so these are some uh, benefits of using lwc over the aura now what are the decorators in lwc basically interviewer is asking us uh, what is track what is api and what is wire decorator so api is actually a decorator which uh, which exposes a property uh, a public property or a method basically to the parent components uh, track is actually uh, is actually uh, make a property reactive right uh, by uh, means we use a track for making a property reactive next is wire uh, wire used to used to call the apex uh, from the lwc component on uh, specifically rendering or retrieving the data okay basically wire is uh, is actually a decorator which used to which used to call the apex method to get a data salesforce data uh declaratively so this is the difference between api track and wire decorator next is what are the life cycle hooks this is the very important question guys uh, life cycle hooks every interviewer will ask this question now there are basically a five life cycle hooks first is a, a constructor so constructor is invoked when the component instance is created right means whenever means we all know that uh, uh, the constructor will actually create it or will execute automatically when we create the instance in the same way right in uh, in case of lwc also constructor is a life cycle hook which invoke when a component instance is created second is connected callback connected callback called when component is inserted into the dom next is uh, render callback render callback is called after the component has finished rendering right that means when a first is constructor second is connected callback then we have a render callback next we have disconnected callback disconnected callback uh, called when the component is removed from the dom and last is error callback error callback called when error occurs while rendering so these are the five life cycle hooks what are they constructor second is connected callback render callback disconnect uh, disconnected uh, callback and uh, error callback now uh, what is render interviewer will ask you about uh, ki uh, render render ki render ye uh, ye uh, life cycle hook hai ya nahi hai right so basically interviewer will ask you is render is a life cycle hook or not right basically render is actually a method right 
the render method is used conditionally render a specific template okay and uh, it returns a uh, it returns a reference to the html template to render this method can be overridden to implement the conditional rendering logic also okay so render is actually not a life cycle hook it is a it is a method okay uh, next is how do we uh, pass uh, data between the components in lwc so uh, so basically the component uh, communication uh, we can do by using parent to child child to parent and uh, what we can say unrelated components next is uh, can we call apex from uh, lwc yes we can call apex from lwc we have two uh, two ways to call apex from lwc first is uh, first is basically a uh, you know, imperative methods and second is wire decorator right so wire decorator is actually for reactive data binding to the apex method and imperative apex calls uh, can be directly invoked in the ap apex methods into a javascript matlab jo bhi hamara controller file hai usme directly hum log apex ko call kar sakte by using imperative methods next we have uh, how do we handle the events in lwc so uh, basically lwc mein add event listener a uh, html tag hai right then we have on click on change on submit uh, aura events which already uh, which are the attributes of the uh, tags and uh, uh, for for custom communication we have a dispatch event right so lwc handles event using the standard dom event and custom events right what are the standard dom events on click on change on submit uh, and add event listener etc etc and uh, we have a we have a standard events like dispatch event also next is what are the getter setter in lwc so basically getter used to calculate and return values dynamically based on the others property and setters are actually execute a logic when property value is set uh, useful uh, useful for processing a value before assignment right so basically uh, what we can say getters uh, are used to calculate and return explicitly setters uh, used to just assign that value okay next is uh, how to navigate to another page in lwc how to navigate to another page to lwc so basically uh, we can use navigation mixing concept uh, navigation mixing is the topic which is which is trending right now in the interviews so interviewer will always ask you or just move your interview towards the navigation mixing there are few questions uh, we can expect from the navigation mixing right so navigation mixing kya hai navigation mixing uh, is the way to navigate to the components right to the different different uh, salesforce pages example uh, we can we can implement navigation mixing by importing navigation mixing from lightning slash navigation and then we can call uh, navigation mixing directly okay perfect next we have uh, how to handle uh, the form submission in lwc so we actually have a lightning record edit form one lds uh, element or we can say type of lds that can handle the form submission next uh, what is the use of uh, wire and current page references Uh, so basically the wire adapter gives access to the current page uh, uh, page and state like url parameters etc etc it is a useful scenario like dynamic component rendering based on the route uh, parameter so this is the this is a wire uh, current page reference next how do you use a navigation mixing again uh, i think this question is actually repeated next uh, sorry how how do you handle the conditional rendering in uh, in lwc so to render the component conditionally in lwc we can use if true if false uh, directives right 
we can we can set or we can uh, we can actually conditionally render the component by using uh, setting up a if true and if false values to the template. Next, uh, can we use Lightning Data Services in LWC? How? So basically, uh, we can use a Lightning Data Services. Uh, we can use Lightning Data, uh, Lightning Record uh, form tag, Lightning Record edit uh, form tag, then uh, Lightning Record view form tag uh, to leverage the LWCs. These components manage the data without writing the apex, right? By using LDS, we can, without writing the apex, we can just perform the data operations, okay? Now, how do we, uh, how do you make LWC available in the, in the Lightning App Builder? So basically, uh, there is a, there is meta file or target file, uh, which, uh, which is present into a LWC component. Uh, that file extension ends with jsmeta.xml and uh, we can add the targets and make component uh, is exposed equal to true, right? We can add the targets uh, into that XML file. Uh, next is... Uh, just hold. Explain the, explain the flow of data reactivity in LWC. So basically, uh, LWC uses the reactive element to re-render re the components uh, automatically when their value change. The public uh, properties are decorated with the address API and reactive private variables automatically and uh, trigger the re-rendering. Uh, so basically, we act, uh, means every property is reactive by default into uh, into our LWC, but uh, basically, Adderate API will make it more, uh, what we can say, uh, more triggering, right? Next, uh, what is the shell, uh, shadow DOM, right? And how does LWC use it? So shadow DOM is the browser technology that encapsulates the component's internal DOM structure and style, uh, style from the global DOM. LWC uses native shallow domes uh, to ensure the component encapsulation and style isolation. Last is uh, just hold. How do you communicate between uh, uh, between the unrelated components? So basically, we use the Lightning messaging services uh, to to just uh, component between two uh, two unrelated com components. <clears throat> How, how can we debug the Lightning Web Components? So we can actually use the developer tools, uh, browser developer tools, or we can use the console.log also. We can also use the breakpoints in JavaScript, uh, or there are some Chrome extensions also, right, that we can use in, uh, in a debugging, for debugging the Lightning Web Components. Next is how do we optimize the performance of LWC? So first of all, right to optimize the performance of LWC, uh, we need to maximize, uh, sorry, minimize the uh, apex calls. Uh, we need to uh, use catching mechanisms. We need to avoid large DOM updates. We need to use the pagination for the least. We can use lazy loads also where pagination uh, will not, uh, means if, uh, if pagination is not allowed, then we can use lazy load components. Next, uh, can we use third party libraries in LWC? Yes, uh, we can use uh, or we can upload the third party libraries in LWC. Basically, uh, we can uh, miss. Uh, what whatever third party libraries I have used are uh, actually uh, load, load script, load style, then we have a platform resource loader, etc. These are some third party libraries that I have used. Next, uh, how do you handle the error handling in LWC? So we can use the try catch method, first of all, uh, to, to actually handle all exceptions. And uh, in, in LWC, <clears throat> We can write the toast uh, notifications whenever errors comes uh, for for generic errors. Then uh, 
then we have what are the uh, what are the composition or uh, and the slot in lwc so basically composition is the process of in, uh, including one component inside another component this is called as composition and slots means uh, it allows the parent uh, to pass markup into child component so slots by using slot tag right we can we can actually pass markup from parent to the child component okay so this is the slot and this is the composition so these are the questions that actually asked in the uh, deloitte interview to one of the student of gradex academy and uh, basically this this guy is having a uh, four plus years of experience so you can see many question is uh, is actually a basic also and some advanced concepts also all the questions are related to the lwc topics only so this is the interview feedback now if you like the video you can like this video and comment uh, if you want uh, answer please thank you